The Beast, Travis Bajan and Sergey Kalina. Kalinichenko are going to go at it on the right arm this weekend. And I'm going to tell you why The Beast, Travis Bajan, wins this matchup. Number one, that posting badass top roll. When Travis Bajan gets to the table, he is as close as anything like he's going to start practicing how to make out with his hand. His connection is brilliant and his chest goes right up to his hand in that big ball of fist that he likes to make at the start of the matchup. Just go back and watch the match with Derek Smith, although it was a left hand. The beast is always closer to the table. Go and watch Kalinichenko's matchups against Chan Shaw and Matt Mask. And those opponents are just a little bit more separated for the ready go. So when you get that big six foot 530 kegs right up in your grill, Travis Bajan is going to be able to post real high, real straight, bring Kalina to his side of the table and knock the moustache and sunglasses right off him. Number two, Travis is prime time. Anytime you watch an NFL show, Travis Bajan is on there because his son, if you don't know, plays for the Bears. So when Travis Bajan is having millions and millions of eyes on him, I don't think the man is going to take a match that he remotely thinks he can lose. He doesn't think Kalinichenko is a bum. Well, actually, he thinks everyone's a bum. But when Travis is prime time and he wants to take money matches and declares that he's ready to take over, I think his first match back on the right arm is going to be one that he is very confident in winning. And when you're prime time like Travis Bajan, you better bloody believe it, he's coming out with a victory. Number three, natural. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not that kind of natural. I mean his natural body frame and size. Travis Bajan, 6465, is a huge human being. And he's got wide shoulders and good limbs and he's been arm wrestling longer than a lot of us have been born. And if you go look at Kalinichenko, he is in incredible shape. But he's more of a 100 kilo guy, bulking up to 120 kilos. The guy is thick. But Travis's natural ability to always be big and just has to focus on gym work and don't worry about diet and etc. like that, will have a huge momentum when it comes to power. Just like when Mario takes the mushroom and just goes, whoop, 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 whoop. That's what Travis Bajan will be able to do. His natural frame and size will be a huge, difficult reason why Kalinichenko won't be able to get the three pins on the weekend. What do you guys think? Am I talking out of my ass, or do you think Travis's comeback is real and you think he's going to be taking over? Let me know in the comments, you dead set legends. And while you're there, just watch all the bloody videos on this channel. Have a bit of a laugh. And just while you're at it, hey, don't be bitter. Be better. Just be happy wherever you are. And as always, ready, bang!